Hey guys, welcome back. So today I actually, believe it or not, I think we're gonna get the wheels mounted on the 98 Chev. So I found some wheel spacers and that all came in. So I'm really pumped about that. I'm gonna show you that in a minute. And we're gonna try and get those mounted on the truck today because what's more exciting than seeing new chrome wheels, well, used chrome wheels on a, uh, an old truck and making it look a little better, right? So that's what we're gonna work on today. Uh, other than that though, I've got a terrible mess going on in my garage. I'm not sure how we ended up with all of this stuff out. And it's not like my garage is super clean anyway, but it's usually a little more organized. So I'm gonna take a few minutes, we're gonna get that cleaned up, and then we're gonna try and stick the wheels on the truck. So let's get to it. Okay, so it's definitely not perfect. Of course, the wind is blowing leaves back in already, but at least we're kind of at the place where a guy can kind of be on the floor. It's not a total mess, so. Anyway, that's where we're at for the moment. So, yeah, I guess the next thing is we'll bring the other truck in here and we'll see if we can get that, uh, get those wheels mounted, so. Okay, so the question is what's in the box? Let's have a look here. So I picked these wheel spacers up from Supreme, Supreme Suspension. And I gotta say right out of the gate here, I am quite happy with this uh, purchase already. They sent me some really sweet stickers and I don't know. Maybe we'll start making a sticker thing on the side of the toolbox or something there, I don't know. That stays. Then we got paper. Here. Yeah, I cracked into this already here. Ta da! There you have her. Yeah, quality wise, I can't complain about anything on these wheel spacers. They uh, come with an extra set of lug nuts, obviously. Uh, they've got kind of a tapered edge for the, the, uh, the, the factory lug nut to go inside there, so that works out pretty good. So yeah, basically we're just going to mount them and fit the wheels on it. So Okay, so what I'm going to do here, just got a few different tools, which is sort of obvious. I got a little bit of anti-seize and I'll show you what we're going to do with that. Thread locker, this is super important to make sure that you put this on, otherwise your spacers might fly off and then your wheels will leave too. It's a little rusty, crusty there, so I'm going to do that. And then we've got my breaker bar socket and my torque wrench. So there are the wheel spacers. Let's get to her. See what it looks like. Okay, so there's our brake drum. Just gonna clean that up. Just gonna note, you know, I took my hubcap off the other day, uh, about four or five days ago, and in certain climates, it's amazing how much rust will start to develop within just a few days. You know, not having proper protection over the top of your lug nuts, so that's why it's important to keep your hubcaps on. What we're gonna do here is just uh, scratch off with the wire brush and go from there. According to the instruction, you're supposed to use the provided lug nuts to mount the spacer to the truck and then use the factory lug nuts to mount the wheel to the wheel spacer. So you can see here I did the 
a little bit of anti-seize. I tried to give it just a light coat because you don't want it to be too heavy. And then we applied a little bit of thread locker just on the top and it'll kind of drip around. Uh, the reason I did the anti-seize though is because the wheel spacers are made out of aluminum and if time goes on, all of a sudden it seems like aluminum likes to seize the steel and there will undoubtedly be a time in history when I need to take this off again so I want to make sure that we can get it off when we need to take it off. What I found from trying this out is that the factory lugs are not really going to fit on there very. It's a different stud size, so I'm just going to leave the factory studs on the truck. And we got to change that down the road, we will. Okay, so after about 45 minutes of uh, OSHA approved manufacturing, I created myself a socket. So you can see here, I had to grind down my 7 8 socket to fit inside the lug bolts because apparently the reason they recommend you use the provided lug nuts is because they're kind of tapered off or shrunken in. Uh, smaller, smaller lug nut anyway. So. But the problem is my studs don't fit with the plug nuts that they provided, so that's no good. So anyway, what I did is yeah, I just ground down my 7-8 socket, turned it into a uh, smaller socket, which I'm sure after torquing is cracked already. But the bonus is we got this on, and I will note that I'll probably end up getting some different lug nuts here, just so I do have stuff that's something that's reasonably safe at high speed. But uh, yeah, it fits in there. Got them tightened up, got them torqued anyway. So we got this on, and then we're gonna do the same on the wheel spacer and go from there. We'll get, get rolling the rest of them. So but anyway, that's what I had to do. Just because yeah, as long as we gotta improvise. So there you have it, one wheel is mounted. Now let's see if we can get the rest of them done here, so. Whew, officially mounted. Last time you saw it in this stance, it was not, so let's use that looks pretty awesome. Now, I don't know if my tires are in any kind of decent shape. I can hear a whistling going, but not 100% sure if that's the tire or the air chuck, but anyway, one more and we got her. Okay, so it's still windy. See, my garage is not as clean as it was. But I think we got her. Oh my goodness. You know, some things just, just fight you all the way through. And yeah, I think we're on. So, still windy. So far, the tires are holding air. No promises on how long that'll last. But. I think that's got kind of the right stance and the look we're going for. Again, one of my biggest complaints about a two-wheel drive truck is your front wheels usually seem like they, at least on these older ones, they sit in further. So those wheel spacers, it brings it out, brings it out a little better in the front and the back. They they sit just about perfect. And 
I was kind of worried about having a spacer in there. I thought maybe that'd be look kind of goofy, but I think it widens the kind of the track and the stance out enough that it, it looks better than it did before. So, so I like that. It's sitting a little higher, which means that we got to do a leveling, lowering kit. Okay. So that's going to come probably soon, but I think we got to start taking care of slowing down the uh, cancer issue there. But that's still a bit of an issue, but thinking if we can lift the box off, get underneath the frame there, do the brake line, paint the frame, at least that'll be in better shape. And uh, then we'll be able to try and get this cab corner issue sort of solved. But other than that, I think it looks pretty awesome, so. So what do you guys think? You like the wheels? I think they look pretty slick on there. Just gotta get the rest, you know, the rest of the truck looking a little better shape, but but yeah, it looks pretty nice, I think. So yeah, that's the end of the video, guys. I hope that you uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe, and follow along if we go through the summer because we're gonna do more work on the truck. But I'd really appreciate to hear what you guys think. What do you would you like to see? What would you do? What have you done on your own truck that you think would uh, work on this one as well? So got a little ways to go just, just being honest but uh, anyway appreciate you guys tuning in hope you have a great day and a great week and we'll see you in the next video